This video is over 8.2 integration by parts. So it says here, if u and v are functions of x and have continuous derivatives, then u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Now the hint is to let dv be the part that is easily integratable. So therefore it has to have the dx on it. And let u be the part that is easy that is easiest to differentiate. If possible, let it be a power of x, okay? So for instance, this problem here. This part here is a power of x. It's x to the power one. That will most likely be my u, okay? Then my dv will be the other part. So e to the 23x dx. Now if I wanna know what v is, because I need it here and here, I am gonna have to integrate both sides of this equation. So the integral of dv is just v, and the integral of this is gonna be one over 23e to the 23x. Now you don't need to put the plus c's here. You can put them, wait to put them at the very end of the entire problem, okay? So after you found this integral, that's when you would put the plus c. Right now, we're still trying to set everything into this formula. However, I do still need du as part of that formula. Well, the derivative of x is just dx. So we have all of our pieces. So the integral of this, and remember this is all your side work. The integral of this is equal to uv. So u times v minus the integral of v, which is this, du, which is just dx. And I can integrate that. I get x over 23 minus 1 over 23, integral of e to the 23x dx. So I get x over 23 minus 1 over 23, times 1 over 23 e to the 23 x plus c. So my final answer is x over 23 minus 1 over 529 e to the 23 x plus c. Now, similarly, you can do that with example two. So example two has um, x cubed. And that's a power of x, so that will most likely be my u. So I'm gonna do my side work over here. I'm gonna let u equal x cubed, and then dv is gonna be, oh no, we can't integrate ln of x easily. So this actually needs to be reverse. We need to have ln of x be u and x cubed be dv because du is just 1 over x dx. That's much easier to differentiate than it is to um, integrate. And here we would get x to the fourth over 4. So let's see if we plug it all in. U v minus the integral of v du. So we get x to the fourth ln of x over four minus, these will reduce, you get x cubed dx. So x to the fourth ln of x over four minus one fourth x to the fourth over four plus c. <coughs> Excuse me, so I get x to the fourth ln of x over four minus x to the fourth over 16 plus c as the final answer. Okay, let's go ahead and try example three. 
So example three, this is a power of x and this is easily integratable, so we can do this. So that u equal x squared, du would equal two x dx, dv would be e to the two x dx, and v would be one half e to the two x. So this will become u v minus the integral of v du. So we get x squared e to the 2x over 2 minus the integral of x e to the 2x dx. So unfortunately, you end up with an integral that still requires you to do by parts again. So if I do it again, so ignore these, I'm going to have new values now. I'm going to let u equal x and then dv equal e to the 2x dx. So du will be dx and v will be 1 half e to the 2x dx. So then this integral here becomes uv minus the integral of v du. So then we end up with x squared e to the 2x over 2 minus x e to the 2x over 2. And then this integral actually become plus 1 half integral of e to the 2x dx. And if I take that integral, I get 1 half times 1 half e to the 2x plus c. So I get e to the 2x over 4 plus c. Now, there's another way to do that, okay? It's what's called the tabular method. So if I let u equal x squared. I'm just noting that that's side work. Okay, and this too is going to be my side work. And I let dv equal e to the 2x. We're just going to be informal over here and we're going to keep going until we get the derivative of 0. So the derivative of x is 2x. The derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of 2 is 0. So I'm going to stop there. Now the integral of e to the 2x is 1 half e to the 2x. The integral of that is 1 half times this, which is 1 fourth e to the 2x, and the integral of that is 1 over 8 e to the 2x. And so this is what's happening, is you're going to go in a diagonal so basically you never use dv. Notice how in your formula, um, what is it? It's uv minus the integral of v du. There's no dv in this problem at all, which is why this dv, original dv, doesn't get used, okay? And then there's no sense in doing anything after zero because it's all just gonna be a bunch of zeros. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply these two things together. So you get x squared e to the 2x over 2. Here you get um, 2x e to the 2x over 4. And here you get 2 e to the 2x over 8. Now notice that the first sign is positive, the second sign is negative. So you're going to follow that pattern. First one positive, second one negative. Next one positive, next one negative. But we didn't even use that one. So this term is going to be positive, that term is going to be negative, and a positive and a positive will be a positive. You always have to tag on your plus C, and then it's just a matter of reducing. So you can reduce those by 2, and you can reduce these by 2, and notice that you get the exact same thing that you had up there as your final answer 
but this way is a little bit shorter than this original way having to do double um, integrations so we have one more example that we can practice that tabular method so let's do our side work over here so this is my x squared this is gonna be my cosine of 4x and then when I take the derivative, I get 2x, 2, and then 0, which we don't use the 0, and we won't even use this, but let's do the integrals. So the integral of cosine is sine, so 1 over 4 sine of 4x. Then the integral of sine is negative cosine, and then one more, the integral of cosine, oops, is sign again. So we're going to go in this direction. And remember, these guys have a positive, negative, and positive. So when you multiply those together, you're going to get x squared sine of 4x over 4. When you multiply these two together, they're negative times a negative, which is positive 2x cosine of 4x over 16. And the positive times the negative is negative 2 sine of 4x over 64. And again, don't forget your plus c. Your constant of integration. So if I simplify that, you end up with this as your final answer. And we didn't need to do repeated by parts. The tabular method, it'll already fall out all the repeating that is necessary. So you just keep doing your derivatives until you get to zero. And that'll, that'll put in all the different times you would have to do the, um, the by parts. It'll just all fall out.